Hello, my name is Jerry Simmons. I am one of two full-time National Archives staff who work as external agency liaisons to SNAC, which stands for Social Networks and Archival Context. My colleague, Dina Herbert, and I participated in a number of SNAC programs, but our primary focus in the cooperative is the administration of the SNAC school. You can find SNAC using any web browser, and there's no need for a login or a password. The landing page is a tumbling, ever-changing mosaic of sample name descriptions you can explore in SNAC. The search bar at the top of the landing page provides you a flexible keyword search, and you can filter your search results to return three specific types of entity descriptions, organization names, person names, or family names. SNAC officially began its work as a fully formed archival authority cooperative in fall 2015. The work on the concept, the data model, and the search engine started in 2010 at the Institute for Advanced Technology in the Humanities with support from the California Digital Library. The Endowment for the Humanities and the Institute for Museum and Library Services granted support for this research and development phase. It was during this phase that the National Archives staff began participating as expert advisors for name authority cataloging and cooperative description. The new cooperative phase is supported by the Andrew Mellon Foundation. 2016 saw the stand-up of SNAC's formal governance and administration, guided by four working groups and a formal training program, which is administered by the National Archives and Records Administration. As of January 2023, SNAC has 450 registered editor partners, including some as far away as Brazil, Argentina, and India who cooperatively develop descriptions for creators of a wide variety of archival and cultural heritage collections found in repositories around the world. Editors can create authority records for persons like voting rights activist Fannie Lou Hamer. Searching for Hamer and Snack starts with a simple keyword search of her name or parts of her name. Hamer's Snack record includes a high-level biography note, then a list of related archival resources with a contextual descriptor. Hamer is designated as the creator of her own papers held at the Amistad Research Center at Tulane University, but is referenced as a subject in the McKissick papers at UNC Chapel Hill Wilson Library. Clicking on the title links takes you to the finding aids for those materials. Snack also links to other types of archival descriptions. Hamer's snack record includes a link to a catalog description found in the National Archives catalog. It links to records described in the NARA catalog, but records themselves are held at the Lyndon B. Johnson Presidential Library. Another unique feature of SNAC is describing contextual relationships between other entities described in SNAC. In this example, we see Hamer's SNAC record linked to the descriptions of two organizations which she helped found in the 1960s. Clicking on those names moves you to descriptions for those organizations found in SNAC. To learn more about social networks and archival context and how the National Archives leads in this global description project, visit snackcooperative.org. Thank you.